This meeting is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the projects and provide input. This meeting is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4411432 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447106-2. The purpose of tonight's meeting is to explain the project goals, present the department's recommended improvements to help achieve those goals, and hear from the community about the proposed changes. This public meeting was advertised and is being conducted in accordance with state and federal requirements, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl.us. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwanee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at jacqueline.paramore at dot.state. .fl.us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the meeting notifications. The plans presented this evening are the result of significant coordination with the City of Orlando and the community. The Florida Department of Transportation, FDOT, District 5, conducted a corridor planning study on Robinson Street to objectively evaluate possible improvements to enhance multimodal safety, operations, and connectivity. The planning study was completed in 2017. The recommended alternatives from the planning study were further analyzed during the concept development phase, looking at engineering feasibility and costs. This phase was completed in 2019. We are now in the design phase of the improvements. Let's look at the specifics of each project. The first project, 441143-2, is on Robinson Street from Huey Avenue to Mills Avenue in Orlando. The purpose of the project is to transform the corridor to create a safer and more efficient roadway for drivers, bicyclists, and pedestrians. This includes improving connectivity for cyclists and providing improved sidewalks and paths for pedestrians with new mid-block crossings. The project will also promote lower driving speeds through the corridor and create a neighborhood feel. Overall, the project is proposing to reconfigure the roadway to provide one travel lane in each direction. A cycle track or shared use path will also be incorporated, where applicable, along the south side of the roadway. Other pedestrian safety improvements include upgraded crosswalks and raised mid-block crosswalks. Between Garland Avenue and Roslyn Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a center two-way left turn lane. A dedicated cycle track will be provided, separated from the travel lanes with a concrete barrier. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter will be reused in this area. The existing roadway will be milled and resurfaced as part of the improvements. Between Roslyn Avenue and Summerlin Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median. A shared-use urban path will be provided along the south side, and the existing sidewalk will be retained on the north side. The existing roadway will be milled and resurfaced as part of the improvements. Between Higher Avenue and Mills Avenue, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter will be retained on both sides of the roadway. The existing roadway will be milled and resurfaced as part of the improvements. A key part of the improvements along the corridor are improved pedestrian crossings. This is an artist's rendering of the proposed concept, which would include pedestrian-activated warning signals and landscaping. The exact look of each crossing has not yet been determined. The type of pedestrian activated signal this project is considering is called a pedestrian hybrid beacon or PHB. 
This is an overhead traffic signal designed to help pedestrians cross by requiring motorists to stop during a red light phase. However, unlike a regular traffic signal, the signal is dark until activated by a pedestrian. We are currently in the design phase of the schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2023. Additional right-of-way is not anticipated for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in fall of 2024. Moving on to the second project, 447106-2 is also on Robinson Street and runs from Mills Avenue to McGuire Boulevard. The project proposes changes to the roadway configuration to encourage slower speeds and improve accommodations for pedestrians. This project will repave the roadway for the entire length of the project. On-street parking will be better defined in some areas by adding curb extensions. Pedestrian safety will be enhanced with improved crosswalks and reconstructed sidewalk and curb ramps. Similar to the other project, the corridor would have one travel lane in each direction, separated by a raised median with new inside curb and gutters. The existing sidewalks and curb and gutter on both sides of the roadway will be retained. The existing roadway will be repaved by milling and then resurfacing. We are currently in the design phase of the schedule. Final design is anticipated to be completed by early 2023. Additional right-of-way is not anticipated for the improvements. Construction is currently funded and expected to start in early 2024. Coordination with utility providers is ongoing for both projects. The Orlando Utilities Commission, OUC, will also be doing work along the corridor as part of the Robinson Street Reliability and Resiliency Project. A portion of the project involves installing a new duct bank, a protected pathway for buried electrical conduit, with a new transmission line that will ultimately connect the Lake Highland substation to the Station Energy Center. The project will begin in May 2023 and will be completed in December 2023. Robinson Street will remain open for through traffic, although one travel lane is planned to be closed. OUC will also be replacing a water main to ensure reliability for customers. A section of aging water main fabricated from cast iron pipe will be replaced with new ductile iron pipe. The length is about a half mile long and will run from Broadway Avenue to Mills Avenue. The project will begin in summer 2023 and concludes in summer 2024. This is the first of two public meetings. We will refine the design over the coming months and continue to gather community feedback. The refined design will be presented for public comment and questions at a second public meeting tentatively scheduled in early 2023. Additional outreach will take place in early 2023 with a pop-up booth at the Lake Eola Farmer's Market. Design is anticipated to finish in fall 2023. We encourage your input and feedback about these two projects. There are multiple ways for you to participate. All public comments and questions are part of the public meeting record, and every method for providing public comment and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by Wednesday, August 10, 2022, 14 days after the public meeting, will become part of the public meeting record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing. Those attending in person are invited to ask questions and share feedback with the project team during the open house. To submit a comment for the project's public meeting record, please complete a printed comment form and return it to project staff. Written comments may also be submitted on either project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 441143-2 or cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447106-2. You may also contact the project manager directly by email at joseph.fontanelli at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at the Florida Department of Transportation, 719 South Woodland Boulevard, mail station 542, Deland, Florida, 32720. You may also call the project manager at 386-943-5234 to provide verbal comments during normal business hours. The contact information is also available on the public meeting notification that you may have received by mail. To learn more about these projects, please visit cflroads.com. Type either project number 4411432 or 4471062 in the search box at the top right and click Go. 
then click on the project name. Public meeting materials are posted on the websites now. On behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, thank you for attending this public meeting and providing your input on these projects. If you have comments or questions after the meeting, please submit them by Wednesday, August 10th, 2022. Contact information, recording of this presentation, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public meeting are posted on the project websites at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 4411143-2 and cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 447106-2. Thank you for your interest and participation. Have a good evening.